Good morning, and welcome to Perfect Pair. I'm Kara Balmer. And I'm Nancy Jerick. And this is Perfect Pair. Welcome to Perfect Pair, where we talk about all things quilting, mostly quilting, a At bunch of other quilting. things. Some, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Please like and subscribe if you're on YouTube or Facebook. Um, yeah, we appreciate it. We do. We like the hearts. We like the thumbs up. Yeah. Please. Keeps us going. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps uh, us having a job. Yes. <laughs> Please keep us working. <laughs> uh, <laughs> behind us, the quilts on set today, um, the big one, behind us is the Kimberly uh, made with mystical sun and we will talk about that later. Mm -hmm. uh, behind me is a little Jojo <laughs> and that is made with Feed Sacks Good Works. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be getting a little bundle in that later today. Yeah, I didn't even realize. I was going <laughs> and checking out our inventory and like, oh, we didn't do one. We didn't do one, which and is weird. It's such a cute one. So it will be there like in the next hour. Yes. So check it out because yeah. it's it's a cute one yeah. um, to make a little. And then behind me is <laughs> it's the little Jojo. Yes. Made from Greenfields. Greenfields, yeah. Casey, do you want to put some pictures up? Oh, little Mia is behind you. Little Mia is behind me. I'm sorry. We'll, take, we'll put some pictures on the screen. Yes. It'll make everything much more clear. <laughs> there we go. There's the little Mia made out of feed sacks, which we will have soon on the website. Yes. And that's the full bundle. Yep. And then we have the little Jojo uh, with Greenfields, which is already a little bundle. Yes. And available for purchase yeah. right now. So if you don't recall or don't remember, our little bundles are perfect for making any of our little patterns, any of yes. Goodrin's little patterns. So they are perfect. That fabric you see in the background on this picture is mm -hmm. the binding. Mm -hmm. um, and so you have everything you need except backing and any adding and yeah. It really can get you a quick and easy quilt, yeah. or table runner, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so check those out. Our little bundles are pretty great. We have Christmas ones, Halloween ones, and then just general yeah. everyday ones. So. Lots of choices now. Yes. Behind Mr. GP. Yes. <laughs> that is the Lucy quilt pattern, um, and that is made with like Originally made with scrappy. like a chartreuse, yeah. scrappy mystery bundle. So. Yeah, so beautiful. Yeah. I haven't made that one yet. It's on my list because it's so cool. And I want to make it just in two colors because yeah. I, I think, think it just pops so much more. I agree. Um, Mr. GP's um, microphone today is not working, so he will just be nodding and smiling and maybe saying <laughs> something to us. He's giving us a thumbs up. <laughs> But he won't be able to speak to us, so we'll have to relay any information from him to you if anything comes up. Yes, exactly. Yeah. All right. So I, it was my turn for the recipe this yes. month. And the one I picked is very involved. It is a lot of work, but it is... And you strained yourself making it? Oh, gosh. Sweated in the kitchen. All me. <laughs> but no, really. My uh, husband, Matt. Everybody already knows her. <laughs> Even on the show. <laughs> we all know I don't cook. Um, my husband, Matt, was wonderful and made it. They are the berry jam buns. Yeah. And uh, we got this recipe. And he got this recipe. I got to hold it up higher. From See um, all the little berry, the yeah. red. It so it's like a cinnamon roll, but yeah. just with berries instead. And it's from the New York Times recipes. That's his favorite place to find recipes. So what berries? They all are kinds of berries? Raspberries mm. um, in it. Oh, yeah, I can taste them. With like a cream cheese kind of frosting. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put the recipe up. I'm not going to go through it all the way just because it's three pages long and we don't need to waste everyone's time with it. But if you're interested, it will be on the blog later. Oh. Um, it involves. I love the sweet and the tart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's really good. It I'm is. excited about it. it. Yeah. Um, at least makes you feel a little healthier than cinnamon rolls. I don't know what it is. I <laughs> highly doubt it. But, um, you know, it makes you feel a little better, mm -hmm. maybe. Uh, but yeah, Good. take a look at the recipe. I'm going to have GP put it up here real quick just to um, show you. It's involved, like I said, it involves raising dough, um, approving it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Uh, but <laughs> Matt's here in the studio. I'm sure he could give you a rundown, but we'll just, we'll just let you look at it. 
But so that's page one with all the ingredients for all the steps. And then there's a page two and a page three. Um, but, but yeah, check it out on the blog if you're interested. It's very good. So yeah, just give yourself it's different. Some time. I had never, I know, I even heard. Or Either did I. No. When I asked Matt, I'm like, I need a recipe. And he's like, well, I found this that I've been wanting to try. So Perfect. So here we go. It's we can be good. his guinea pig anytime. Yes. He's a great cook. <laughs> so thanks, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're checking out the national days. And today is National Exercise Day. So just an awareness to get out there and move your body. Yes. Especially now that it's spring. It's mm -hmm. a little nicer outside, at least in the northern yeah. part of the nation, mm -hmm. uh, get outside. Yeah. What is your favorite? I walk. You do? You were just telling me this past weekend you walk like a crazy person. Yeah, I walked nine <laughs> miles on Sunday. Um, I try to walk four to six miles a day. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited if I get two in a day. <laughs> I bought a rower, though, and because <gasps> I've... Yeah? Hide story. I've got not great hips. Sometimes <laughs> I got arthritis in it. The rower's been awesome. That helps with your hips, I suppose. Well, yeah, because there's no like pounding like the pavement oh. or walking and that kind of thing. So it's That's smart. And then you're using your upper body. I tried to use a rower legs. once, but I'm not coordinated enough. Mm. Yeah, once you get into a rhythm, you just kind of go. Keep going. Yeah. Is that your favorite or do you have a different favorite? Yeah, no, I'd say that's probably my favorite. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Was, GP, do you have a favorite kind of exercise? Lifting at the gym. Lifting, Lifting. at the gym. Yep. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. That's so good. cool. It's also National Animal Cracker Day. I mean, I'll eat them. Yeah. Frosted? Heck yeah. Yeah. The other ones are fine, but they're pretty boring. Yeah. Well, and I was just talking about how, like, when I was reading up on National Animal Cracker Day, um, just kind of a remembrance to childhood when you were young. I remember getting the little boxes the little of boxes animal of crackers. The animals. Yeah. I love it. So those were fun. Um, It'd be interesting to know how, like, how far they go back. Like, when do they date back That's to? That's a good question. Yeah, it doesn't say. So if it's memories from childhood for my mother, I don't know. Like, did she have animal crackers when she was a child? <laughs> Mom, if you're watching, make a comment. Did you have animal crackers when you were young? First made in England in the mid 1800s. Oh, first. In case you didn't hear that, first. Made in England in the 1800s. Wow. Right. Thank you. Who was that? Did it? Uh, I just looked it up. Oh, you just <laughs> looked it up? Thank you. <laughs> you just Googled it. Good wow. job, GP. I would say my mom probably had them when she was a child then if it was back in the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to appreciate that yeah, so much. <laughs> she loves me already so much. <laughs> um, it's National High Five Day. <laughs> um, <a> big <laughs> high five. Fivers um, talks about just the sports aspect of it, and that's kind of oh, where it originated. Um, high fives with a Dodgers game is one where it was first used in the 70s. I feel like it goes I feel further like it, back. Me too. That's why I was surprised. I'm like, this just seems like a natural mom, thing when you're excited. Ask if she your did. mom if she did it in the 1800s. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in all the sports she played. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's national... Poetry Month. It is. So it's National Poem in Your Pocket Day. Oh. So that was interesting too. So just grab a piece of paper, write a little poem, and tuck it away somewhere so somebody else can find it. Oh. In their book, in a book, you know, that they might be reading or wherever. Yeah. Uh, also check out your local library because they am sure they have a display on it. Yeah. Well, you would know. I would know. She does. She does moonlight as a librarian. I do. Very cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's very exciting. I should come. Quilting and libraries. So I'm really, <laughs> I'm practicing for retirement. That's there all. you go. <laughs> You're funny. All right. So what have you been up yeah. to? This past month, March, for the most part, was super, super busy. Um, if you remember on our last show, I was going to the orchestra the following night. Yeah. So Matt and I went, and it was lovely and beautiful, and it was such a great time. Was there a theme that they were playing that night, or was it just uh, It was orchestra? mostly works by, I can't pronounce it correctly. Uh, Marquez. No, it was Dvorak. That was the, that was the like, feature. It was Marquez and Dvorak. Marquez and Dvorak. Um, but I'm not saying Dvorak the right way, because it's Czech. 
and it has some extra flourish to it. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> but yes, it was great. The there was one soloist on the trumpet who did an amazing job. Mm. Like it was amazing. So highly recommend the orchestra if you haven't been or if you have been. Go again. <laughs> so uh, so in addition to that, we took a huge family vacation with my family, my parents, and my sister's family to the Dominican Republic, uh, and it was the best thing ever. <laughs> we stayed at a resort, and uh, it w the first day or two was really hard because you didn't have to be anywhere or do anything, and so it was almost like people were yelling at you to like, relax! <laughs> um, but then I finally did, and it was the best. Yeah. And I never thought like an all-inclusive type thing would be for me. I really like to see things and do things, but yeah, I'm convinced yeah. that I will do You're this again on board. <laughs> if I ever can, <laughs> and I'm on board, and yeah, so it was awesome. The beach was great, the little birds, we went to a little excursion and got to feed some birds. They were very friendly. Uh, Matt and my younger two, Oscar and Elsa, went snorkeling, and you can't see it in there, but there's some hermit crabs and stuff um, going on there. And just, I took um, a walk on the beach every night, and it was beautiful. And then in this next picture, Elsa didn't like the ocean because it was too rough, so she's not in this picture. But otherwise, it was great. Um, yeah, so good family picture there. <sighs> I want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and your month isn't over. Like you were still busy. Yeah, yeah. It, um, so this past weekend, I taught my first ever sewing class uh, to some 4-Hers. We had an exploratory day, so they could try out different project areas. So I taught sewing, and I had them make a drawstring bag with a lot of help from my mom. And then looks like Clara's like Clara helped helping out. too. Yep. So that was all the kids. It was um, a little more chaotic than I planned on, which I was planning on it being chaotic. Yeah, uh, but this it was, was even more chaotic. Yeah, <laughs> it was interesting. Um, <laughs> I learned a lot, let's just say that. Um, but the girls were great, and I wish boys had signed up, but yeah. they're such turds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think we can all agree on that. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, it was a good class. I hope they walked away feeling pretty good about it, or at least having more confidence in it. And they got a bag. They got a bag. So Very hopefully, fun. yeah, I don't know how soon I'll do it again. Maybe I'll have more help. Yeah. If, if you had more help, it would have been. It would have been great. Yeah. But yeah. it was interesting. Um, how many 4-Hers were in the class? There were nine signed up, but only seven okay. showed up. So, which was yeah. good. And age range <laughs> was? From third grade to, I think our oldest is a 10th grader. Oh, wow, that's so quite the range. Then. Definitely so you definitely range. had a range of ages and abilities skills. Or skills. And yeah. yeah, it was, it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Yes. And then I'm making progress on the Father's Day quilt I'm making for my dad. If you remember from last show, I had picked out a fabric called Cedar Crest Falls. Mm -hmm. And I'm making the jewel pattern with it. So That's such a beautiful yeah. line. It's coming together. It's been really easy. I was afraid of those triangles, like I said. Uh, it's fine. It's a piece of cake. No worries. Um, I've realized that this past year I've made a lot of quilts with triangles. Maybe not a lot, but some. Yeah. And I have another one planned with triangles. So it's just going to be my... That's your year of triangles. Year of triangles. Scary triangles, which really <laughs> aren't that scary. So <laughs> Nice. But how Perfect. about you? I've had a much quieter <laughs> month. Um, just last week, my husband and I took my 20-year-old son to the Lion King here in Minneapolis um, with his girlfriend. It was his birthday present. Aww. That's what he wanted. He wanted tickets to the Lion King, so we went out for dinner. Look at, um, it was an amazing show. If you've never seen it, you got to go. Um, I can't say enough about it. It was incredible. And I've wanted to go for years. We finally... <laughs> had a perfect excuse. My son wanted to go, so of course <laughs> we're going to go. Yeah, we all really thoroughly enjoyed it. That's um, awesome. So we'll definitely, I think that's going to become kind of his birthday thing. Aww. Every year he wants to go. Nice. Um, yeah, which I really like because we're doing something together versus just buying him something that, or giving him money, <laughs> you know. I mean, money is nice. Yeah, <laughs> but then it just goes so fast with it him, does. so it this is better. Yeah. 
Well, good. And then the only other thing that I've really been up to, I um, have been working on a quilt as well um, for my other one of my other son's girlfriend's birthday and kind of her graduation present. She just graduated from college. So um, this is the Super Size Nina in the Lakeshore Bundle. Um, and so it was a little challenging trying to get the lights and darks kind of scattered throughout, but I really like the way it came together. She's really kind of a softer kind of country floral girl, which um, I really love all kinds of fabric, mm -hmm. so I'm not super fussy, but I also tend to go towards kind of brighter and <laughs> more, um, I don't know what the word is, but yeah, yeah, it's really pretty. and Yeah, it's very calming. Yeah. So it, that's, that's really all I've been up to. Yeah. And again, that line was called Shoreline. Yes. That you used. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was mentioned. Maybe, Maybe I wasn't listening. I don't think you were listening. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Yes. <laughs> Who are our winners from last yes. month? Yes, so last month we had a question, like we do every month. Mm -hmm. uh, the question was, what do you do to get cozy during a storm? Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah, because we were expecting our big snowstorm. Yes, and I was really stressed out because our flight was supposed to leave during that snowstorm. There was yeah. no issues. We didn't get as much snow as we should have. No, we didn't. <laughs> we, we got plenty. <laughs> <laughs> and I missed it. Um, anyway, our winners are, let's see, there's Cheryl Martin. She said, there's no, no snowstorms in Arizona, but when I lived back east in New England, I loved listening to books on tape with my two wonderful daughters. Mm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Our second winner is Kathy Rucker. I always thought it would be wonderful to be snowed in. I agree, and mm -hmm. it is. Uh, <laughs> until it happened, but now, I'm not, but now I'm not heating with wood and can turn up the thermostat. Oh. <laughs> to be cozy. That's helpful. Love to make chili and snuggle under a blanket. Oh, and chili. Yep, all of those yeah. totally resonate with me. <laughs> and then our last winner is Kim Evans. She says, I live in rural Louisiana, so thunderstorms often mean loss of power. Oh. We keep flashlights handy. We do have a generator we can hook up if power is off for more than a couple hours. Mm -hmm. And I try to remember to unplug my sewing machine because even with a surge protector, oh, they're going right. to damage. So yeah. That's a very good that's point. That's very smart. Yes. We don't get many power outages with snowstorms or rainstorms here, just yeah. probably because they're just not powerful enough. The snowstorms can be. And once in a while, we'll lose power for just a little bit. But they're pretty quick mm -hmm. to get it back on. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, because then we'd be without heat, and that would That'd be, be terrible. Horrible. <laughs> So thank well, you everyone for good. commenting. Appreciate it. There will be a question later in the show. Please comment and you have a chance to win a charm pack. Yeah. So congratulations yeah. to the winners. Perfect. All right. Go ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> Our favorites um, this month. Um, what we've been using as a notion currently, I have been using the seam fix. Um, seam ripper. Oh, words again. They're so hard. They are hard. Um, I love it. You can see in this next picture just where that tip is r like rubbery and so it really picks up your little scrap um, threads as you are seam ripping and you just kind of roll it back and forth over your fabric and it just picks all those little fine threads right up. It is, I never thought it would be a need and it yep. definitely is a need. Like if you don't have one of these, I've got tons of seam rippers because I can never seem to keep track, Same. but this is one that I do not lose. Yep. I know where it's it is. It's really nice to be able to use that rubber tip. Right. And not and have to pick at every single time. Yeah, it just, thing. it's amazing. It's like, should be the magic seam fix. Because <laughs> it's just grabs those little threads yeah. and. Makes it a little less painful. Mm -hmm. to, right, to, to have to rip. Yeah. My favorite thing lately has been these, um, what are they called? Sewing machine cleaning brushes. Not a very creative name, but um, <laughs> if you want to go to the overhead, I'll put them down here. And I've been sewing a lot with my kiddos lately, and my machine is showing it. And so it's just nice to really clean it out, mm -hmm. get in the bobbins and under mm -hmm. behind it and whatnot, and, yeah. and really clean those out. Right, and they're just such a low cost that you yep. can just buy a whole bunch of them and keep them handy. Yep, keep them handy, throw yep. them away. Yep, exactly. So these have been really useful lately. Um, my machine is, um, it's going through its paces. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's good. I know I was even when I was driving here this morning, I was had been on one of the machines here at the in the classroom, and I was thinking, 
I don't know if we've, like, we maybe all, Colleen, you and I, need to kind of tag team and get in there and clean, and out, clean, them out. clean out the machines. Because, yeah. you know, you think you've cleaned them not too long ago, and then Suddenly six, it's six months, months later. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh, yeah, you should probably yeah. do that. Absolutely. Especially because those machines are amazing. They're so great. So we want to keep them in good condition. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Next up is our perfect picks. Yes. So, and that's where we pick a fabric line usually mm -hmm. and a pattern and what we will make or want to make. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Oh, okay. No, I was just going <laughs> to say, yeah, sometimes it's like I know exactly what I want to make and other times like. This time I needed lots of people's opinions because yes. I had too many choices. So. <laughs> but what are you going to make? So I fell in love with the flirtation line that just came in. Uh, we've shown it already on Tipsy Tuesday, I think just this past mm -hmm. Tipsy Tuesday. Um, but I will quick show it again. I don't want to um, like take up too much time talking about it. But I will show the fabrics real quick and tell you what I'm going to make. So it just has this dark one, and there's those gold squares. Another dark with the circles. Mm -hmm. And there's metallics. These are metallics. Don't be afraid tell. of metallics, people. Exactly. It, if it's from a quality fabric and yes. a great manufacturer, there's no issues with right. pressing or washing. Or these. even sewing. Like, yeah, don't be afraid. Yep. Go for it. And this fabric is They're just fun. so fun. Um, yeah, this one, I, I, I think this is my favorite. I know, me in the too. line, it just, it really pops, those mm -hmm. pinks and blues. Mm -hmm. And then a nice spotted to calm things down. Mm -hmm. And I love this one, too. Mm -hmm. I love that design. Yeah, that's very fun. All right, going through the blues. That one. So, like I said, we just got this. It had been a pre-order, and I think it's really similar to an older line. I think it was called Dance in Paris. Okay. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. Um, but yes, this is called Flirtation. It's a 12-piece bundle. And I just love all the colors. Running that one, you know, one of our the coworkers here was folding it, and she's like, "I'm working on the Easter line." I'm like, "Oh yeah," because <laughs> she was folding this one at the time, and I was like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> I guess you could, yeah, yeah, absolutely." Easter eggs. But. So, so yes, this is the flirtation line, like I said, and I want to make the Sammy quilt with that. Uh, that is in Stripology Mixology Two, and it's a really easy pattern. Comes together pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Uh, for that accent along the top, um, I would like to use, um, let's see, there's pixel lupin, or lupine, depending on how you pronounce it. It matches that purple perfectly. That's kind of the color I went towards since it would be perfect for mm -hmm. the accent. Um, we have a couple of these left, not too many. The second choice is Four Seasons Multi-Pattern Berry. Oh, that's fun. It's a really fun one. There's various different patterns within that half or within that yeah, yard. It's kind of an ombre. Yeah, um, it's really cool. About this one yard. Yeah. And we don't have very many of these left either. So, heads up. And then if you know if those two were gone, uh, this one is awesome too. The yeah. color wash scratch magenta. So any of those options I think would be great. Would really make kind of that pinkish purple pop. So, so that is my perfect pick. I like it. I like it too. So you'll have it done by this weekend? Ha! Right. After I finish my like five other quilts that I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> so my pick, like I said, I had three different choices. I could not decide. Um, and I needed some help from um, coworkers to help me narrow it down. And so I also chose a bundle that Goodwin just showed on this past Tipsy Tuesday. And I chose the other one. It just happened. Yeah. I don't know if that yeah, that done that before. Yeah, that is weird. I didn't even realize you did Yeah, that. so I chose Ink um, by Juicy Juice, and it is a monochromatic line. I l loved it when we looked at it, um, and now bringing it in, I love it even more. Um, and I like the different textures in it. Again, it's a little bit more masculine of a line. Um, so I'm just laying these fabrics down here again so you can take a good look at them. Um, and I just, and then when you see the, 
quilt that I'm planning to make out of it. Yes, it's very cool. Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit more of a challenging one, which I'm excited about. But <laughs> we've got all the kind of the darks, blacks into the grays here, and then we have a real faint light gray going into oh, whites, but just all these fun, awesome textures. This line is by Juicy Juice. If um, you aren't familiar, it may make more sense now that I said that, because this is it's him. <laughs> it's, yep. it's I've <laughs> definitely seen some of these designs in his other, his other mm -hmm, ones, so. lines. So yes, this is ink. I love the kind of the ombre gradation yeah. effect of this one, but I like the lights and the darks. I really like um, it. And I have chosen out of the Stripology Mixology to oh, honey. I'm going to make the honey um, quilt. And with the accents that are in here, I mean, you can see here, my the green here will be um, the black or the gray. And then the lights will be obviously my lights. And then my accent where the black was in the honey quilt, I am going to be using Starry Plum for just that fun pop of color. And then my border that goes on this quilt, I am using this amazing one yard, which I'm so excited it's about. It's really cool. Um, and I'll be cutting it This way. That way? <laughs> What's that <laughs> word? Oh, why can't I think of the word? Length? Yeah. Width? <laughs> yeah. Horizontal? Horizontal. <laughs> yeah. There's, that way. Yeah. That way. <laughs> that way. Um, can't think of the word. Yeah, that's really cool. Goodrin on this past Tipsy Tuesday showed a quilt made with this as a border, and mm -hmm. it was really cool. So. Yeah. Yeah. I was excited when I saw that, and then I was like, oh, i got to be able to use this. Brought it in. We've got to find some fun, fun uses for it. So. Mm -hmm. It, yeah, I'm very excited. So all of this is available on our website right now. And grab one and sew along with me. Yeah. I'm excited about this one. Um, it's going to be really cool. Yes. And you're actually going to make it, right? I am. Awesome. I figured out who I'm going to give it to, but. Uh, that's a later issue. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. So many of you have been uh, doing the temperature quilt with us mm -hmm. uh, this past year. We started in January, and it is now already April. Mm -hmm. So that's crazy. But um, Kara and I have made progress. I'm really glad this show kind of holds us accountable. Oh, for sure. To <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Otherwise, it's easy to kind of push to the side. Mm -hmm. So the, this next picture is each of ours. Mine is on the right, and Kara's is on the left. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Oh, that was before we finished our rows. Yeah, we do have, happy to say, we do have March done. We are done with March. Yeah. Uh, I haven't looked at April yet, though. No. So <laughs> that Neither one might be I. a little bit of a rush to get done. <laughs> but, but yeah, I was working on it the other day. Um, and, and yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Please join us if you haven't yet. Yeah. And please, if you have joined us, send us your photos. We mm -hmm. really, really want to see them. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't get many photos from this past month. I think some of you are slacking. So, <laughs> come on. Um, so, this photo is from, I can't from read. From Sandy. Sandy, thank you. Um, and she is already putting it into, like, with the sashing, and she has all the months at the top. That's really great. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, do, you, do you embroider the n months? Or did you, what? I think I, she like machine embroidered them. Yeah, that's my what guess. I was wondering. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, it's very good for Yeah, and I love how she, because February is such a short month, added the 2024 oh, at the bottom. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's mm -hmm. cute. I like that. Mm -hmm. Great. Smart. Use. Yeah, very smart. And then the next one we have is from Carol. Uh, she was, I think she was starting to work on March when she submitted okay. this picture. Mm -hmm. And she's doing the... Uh, and same with Sandy, they're doing the background lows and not front, I don't know, the, the triangle, the goose, <laughs> the goose as the highs. Uh, and so that's a really cool way to do mm -hmm. it. Me and Kara. It's a lot more thinking. I, I applaud you ladies because yeah. it takes me a lot to just make sure I have all the right temperatures in the right order when I'm making, putting them together and yeah. then to think about two different colors and two different temperatures. And then and precipitation if you're flipping them. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, that's way. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. applaud you. 
please join us. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the temperature paperwork, I guess you could say. Um, one second, Susan. <laughs> we have the temperature paperwork under about and more, and then mm -hmm. bonus charts and templates mm -hmm. on our website. And it's free. You can download it, print it out, yeah. keep track. They're so. pretty. Yeah. It's cute. <laughs> and uh, Susan just asked where we can post their photos. You can post your photos. It is on our Facebook page, Goodrin's Quilt Crew. Yeah. Um, please join it if you haven't. And yeah, there's lots of great posts. There's lots. Yep. It's fun to see everybody's projects they're working on. Um, yeah. It's yeah. just a great I place. Just, to I love seeing all the different ways people are doing this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's cool. All right. Thank you, Susan. Yes. And if you do post a picture, we would love it if you could tag it with hashtag GE Temp Quilt. Mm -hmm. uh, that makes it finding finding it easier so for yeah. us yeah but yeah it's been fun yeah all right so next up we have a special guest we need to take a time out yes time out intermission really quick <laughs> I'm leaving <laughs> not for good she'll be back uh, but we have my daughter Clara coming on set to talk about this Kimberly quilt so <laughs> You got it, Clara. You can come on. You're good. All right. Mr. GP, is her sound good? Can you introduce yourself? Um, I'm Clara. Um, I'm her daughter. Um, I'm in seventh <laughs> grade. I'm 13. And I've made, what, like four quilts? Three or well, four. Well, I've made one table runner, three yeah. quilts. So. Yep. Yeah, so do you want to tell us about this beautiful Kimberly quilt um, you made? Yeah, that's the Kimberly that I made. Um, it is made with Mystical Sun. And, yeah. <laughs> um, the backing. The backing is really cool. It was made with scraps. I forget the line yeah. name, um, but we have a picture of it that will come up. Uh, so yeah, she made it out of Mystical Sun Bundle, which we do still have available, and the pattern is Kimberly, which can be found in Stripology Mixology 3, or we also have it as a single PDF with uh, videos, because we did it as a quilt along one year. So, so yeah, that's Clara working on it. Uh, if you guys have any questions for Clara, pop them in the comments. Um, she'd love to answer your questions. Clara, what was, what was that? Prep her for 4-H. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Prep her for the 4-H judging. She needs help, so I'm sure she'll do great, but not need help. practice helps. <laughs> um, so let's see. I'll ask you some questions. What made you pick Mystical Sun as the bundle? Um, it was just like a really nice variation of colors and designs. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was also like just really pretty fabrics. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite part of making this quilt? Um, probably <laughs> trimming the blocks. It's really random, but it was just <laughs> like that feeling of like, oh, finally I can like kind of be done with, with that part, with yeah. that piecing part. With piecing. Yeah. What was the most difficult part? Um, probably piecing the like. Putting all the blocks together? Is yeah. that what you mean? Putting all the blocks together. Why? Um, <laughs> because there's a lot of the same, um, not pattern, well, well, pattern designs, designs um, just in different colors. And so it was kind of hard to like figure all that out. Um, just like, ooh, where should I put it? Because that's right there. It was just a whole thing. That's true. That did take a lot of time. Oh. Perfect. One more question for Clara, then I'll move to yours. Um, if you could do anything different, what would you do? Um, I would probably add one or maybe a few more um, colors or designs so it would be easier to piece the whole quilt together. Yeah, easier to lay it out. Yeah, easier yeah. to lay it out the sword. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. What are your questions, guys? 
Are you entering it in yes. the fair? Yes, I am. Yep. Hopefully um, another one too. Yeah. We'll As, see. Well, two more technically. When is the fair? Is, um, the Scott County Fair is the last week in July. Yeah. How did you quilt Kimberly? Um, so, um, shoot, I didn't upload the picture. I don't remember the design name, but uh, it was on the long arm. Julie did it for you. Because Julie's awesome. She was at school. Because, yep, she was at school. It was, um, it's like a center circle with like outer circles with lines connecting them. I don't have a picture up, but I can put one on the yeah, blog. Yeah, they look like suns yeah. and like circles. Yeah. So it's like suns and moons. <laughs> Any other questions? For me, what would you say to kids your age? Oh, it's for you. What would you say to kids your age to encourage them to learn to sew? Um, That's a great question. Well, I would probably say start with Gudrun's patterns because they no good plug. They <laughs> <coughs> they look really hard, and then once you're actually like sewing it, you're like, oh, this is really easy. Yeah. And so, and then you get a finished piece that looks like it took months to make, and it really only took like a month maybe, because yep. usually they're pretty easy, or at least the ones I do. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this Kimberly one is super easy, so easy that I could just um, <laughs> tell Clara, help her through the first step, and she'd get it done, and I could leave the room, and she was fine. And then next step, walk her through that, I could leave and it was really great so yeah. um, obviously if they're beginners that may not be the case but you know after three or four quilts um, she's got it handled so I think she really just needs to work on reading patterns and understanding what that means. Yeah it's really hard for me. <laughs> but otherwise she's good to go. Kara did you have a question? I do have a question. Do you like using the stripology ruler? Kara's question is do you like using the stripology ruler? Yes a lot um, because I remember the fir the one time that I used like a normal ruler, it was really hard to like keep my hand steady and like cut. Not have it slip. Yeah. And That's you even had the like I had the special grippy thing, but it was still it can be difficult to keep that in yeah. place. So good job. <laughs> <laughs> Would I make this pattern again? Um, yes, definitely. It's super simple. And Even a 13 year old can do it. Yeah, it doesn't take really that long. Um, and I feel like it would look good with most bundles, mm -hmm. if not all. Because, yeah, just it's super simple. And it looks, it has like the average quilt look to it almost. Like it looks like a quilt. <laughs> like some quilts are like more painting like, like artistic art. yeah yeah this is just a good quilt um, I was looking at it earlier and I realized like it would be great with all sorts of fabrics if you have lights and darks you could do it and it would really great and this one this fabric line which has all sorts of different colors you can use it with that and it's kind of nice because it doesn't have a background or accent so there's not a lot of thinking that has to go yeah. into it <laughs> what was that question has your sewing skills related to math skills? I'm gonna throw some, throw some shade at you here. <laughs> Mine have. I'm not sure about my mom. <laughs> I've heard she usually asks my dad to do a lot of the math for her. She's not lying. Uh, math is not my strong point. No. Uh, thankfully, I married someone who <laughs> is excellent at math, so he does all my work. So <laughs> but yeah, Clara is in advanced algebra. So advanced pre-algebra. Advanced pre-algebra. I'm sorry. And I I credit quilting to to that. <laughs> Whether it's true or not, who knows. <laughs> but <laughs> anything else? Awesome. Thank you guys for your questions. Clara, do you have anything to add? Um, oh yeah. Um I was gonna say another thing I would do differently is I would fussy cut the because there are two specific designs in the bundle where it's like a sun design and a moon design and uh, sometimes I was like oh that was so close to being perfect <laughs> and so yeah it would be really nice to fussy cut those and have them be perfect yeah 
Next time. I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> she really is. It's annoying. Uh, <laughs> But she did a great job. Our next step with this quilt is binding. 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 She has never done her own binding. So, and that was uh, her sh uh, kiss of death, I guess, at the state fair last year was yeah. was that she didn't do her binding. So this year, we're was gonna that work on quilting, it? which is really weird because I feel like most of the foragers don't do their own quilting. No. Yeah, I don't know. It was weird, but we'll learn from that and do your binding. And it'll be great. Learn from your mistakes. Exactly. Good attitude. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thanks, Clara. Yeah. High five for high five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we'll get Kara back on set. Um, thank you all for your questions. It was good practice for her. And I know she's very proud of her quilts, so she's excited to use it. All right. Um, oh, my gosh. I just have to say, I was very <laughs> impressed. She did a really, really good job. That's yeah. not easy. It's and not. Like, I liked her answers. I liked her giving you a hard time. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> that's how we operate. Yeah. <laughs> Everything I do is cringe, yeah. including my math skills. So. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> you can't be loved by teenagers. It's impossible. I woke it's mine true. up this morning and I asked him a question. He's like, ugh, why are you asking me such <laughs> dumb questions? I'm like, okay, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> nice to talk to you. Right. I love teenagers. Oh, uh, right? <laughs> and he, Court, was supposed to also do a quilt. Yeah, he was not into it. Not I think we it. made one block and he's done. See, boys can be turds. <laughs> <laughs> it's proven fact. <laughs> he's, er, GP said that's what he did too. Yeah, uh, not <laughs> even going to go there. <laughs> oh, but All right, so time for our question of the month. Yes. Please answer it in Facebook or YouTube. Uh, and you will be entered to win a free charm pack. Mm -hmm. We pick three every month. And this month's question is, since it, since it is National Exercise Day, mm -hmm. what is your favorite form of exercise? Like I said, mine's walking. Kara's is rowing. GP's is uh, weightlifting. Weight mm -hmm. Clara, do you have a favorite? Walking. Walking is Clara's. Matt? Please the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> he pleads the fifth. <laughs> He works from home. He doesn't interact with people. He doesn't move. He just lets the dogs out. <laughs> I swear if I didn't shove him out the door every once in a while, he'd just stay home <laughs> doing his spreadsheets and math. <laughs> but so yes, please let us know your favorite exercises. Maybe it'll give us a few ideas. Um, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I know there's another winter outdoor sport you'd like to <sighs> partake in. I know. Cross country skiing is a great one. Yeah, Snowshoeing. Snowboarding, <laughs> of course. Um, I know Goodrin likes to run, which is crazy. Yep. Crazy lady. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, enter your answer. Yeah. Be great. Um, do we have any questions? Anything? No, no questions? We're pretty straightforward today. Yeah. All right. I <laughs> um, just want to remind all of you that we um, had our first tutorial on this past Tipsy Tuesday for the um, strip along. We are doing strips and salsa. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Um, and we have it continuing on now. It'll be April 23rd. And then April 29th um, will be on a Monday for Tipsy Tuesday this month because a few of us had to head off to a um, wholesale show. Yes. So they're doing it Monday night instead, Monday at 4 o'clock on the 29th. But there are, um, and then May 7th will be the last day. So if you haven't joined yet there's still plenty of time this past Tuesday was cutting instructions um, and just kind of giving you some tips to get started yep and yeah we did announce our tent sale will be coming up in September the 12th through the 14th um, this past week we finally finally finalized um, all the other fun things that we'll be doing in and around the tent sale so we've got some opportunity for some make and takes. We've got some classes that are going to be offered. Um, we have a VIP event again this year that um, that you won't want to miss out on. And we have a surprise. But yeah, I, I, can't, I can't release <laughs> it. It's not my place, but I'm super excited for all of you because it's, it's going to be great. It, it will be. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a hit. Yes. And then the tent sale itself is that Saturday. Mm -hmm. 10 the, to 2. Yes. Yeah. The 14th. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what date that is. 
<laughs> um, perfect pairing boxes will be shipping at the end of the month. So like, yeah, end of the month. Your Mother's Day. <laughs> so you've got pairing. about a week and a half to pick up one out. Um, we still have some options left, so make sure you check those out on our website. And Bundle Club is busily being worked on right now in um, the warehouse, and yep. it will be shipping next Monday. Mm -hmm. So you lots of it. exciting things happening around here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got anything else, GP? Exactly. What is the tent sale? What is the oh, tent sale? Is That's the a great question. That is. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> so initially, it was just one day where we had basically sale fabrics out and you could buy them and then last year it evolved into like a weekend mm -hmm. where there was events on Thursday, Friday and then the tent sale on Saturday mm -hmm. yep. and so we're kind of continuing that. We call it the GE Fam Fest. Mm -hmm. Fam Fest is in family. Yep. Um, and so the Thursday and Friday there will be activities and then Saturday is that tent sale mm -hmm. where you get very discounted fabric and kits. Yep, so and we've got a couple of big tents outside on our parking lot. We have a couple of food vendors that come in. Um, we have an opportunity to donate to um, our CAP agency. Cap, the CAP agency, yes, yep. thank you. <laughs> and Goodrun will be doing kind of a trunk show um, that day too. Um, what else do we have going on? Drawings, you can win yep. a, one of Goodrun's quilts um, or a couple of different um, baskets mm -hmm. full of goodies yeah yeah it's a great day it's in the fall it's yeah. usually mm -hmm. usually beautiful right the fingers crossed awesome yeah perfect temperatures yeah we'd love to have you join mm -hmm. us we've had people fly out mm -hmm. to attend it and mm -hmm. i hope that they had a good time it seemed like they yeah. did so yeah and I, I we met people well in january when we were in california and yeah they had already gotten their tickets they were asking lots of questions trying to get all the details because they were excited <laughs> <laughs> to come. So you don't want to miss it. It's a great time. Yeah. We'd love to have you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions, GP? We're good. That was a good question. Thank you for that asking your question. Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking that. Ugh. All right. So our next show will be May 23rd, 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Join us then. Tomorrow will be Goodrin's Happy Friday show yep. at noon yes. Central Standard Time. Mm -hmm. And then her regular show on Tuesday. Yep, and Wednesday is uh, One Yard Wednesday, so mm -hmm. always yeah. something happens. Always something, uh, but yeah, tune in to any of those, all of those, whatever you want, and you can always watch them after the fact yeah. as well on YouTube mm -hmm. and Facebook. Yeah. So. All, all right. right. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. Mm -hmm.